What is going on, ladies? It's Shanae, and you are watching um, Confidence and Concealer. I want to call it Makeup 101, but I think I'm going to change the name of it, actually, but whatever. Um, Confidence and Concealer, I'm so excited that, you know, I'm here. I'm so excited to be doing this because I'm doing things a little bit differently this time. Normally, I come on and I just do a tutorial and that's it, but um, what I'm going to start doing, because I understand that it's important that I not only give you guys instant inspiration but also give you instruction and makeup and mindset is all about inspiration and instruction so that's what I'm going to be doing today has been an absolutely awesome day for me so far very productive I'm a little bit tired but I'm still here because I got to get the work done you know we got to get it done so um today we're going to be talking about confidence and concealers and I know you're probably like what does the two have to do with the other. What does one have to do with the other? But it, it, if just listen to what I'm gonna tell you and know that confidence and concealer do have a lot to do with each other. Okay, so concealer is a product that we use to cover our blemishes, right? It's a liquid product or a cream-based product that we use to cover. Um, and this is one of my favorite concealers that I'm using. It's a Mary Kay concealer, but concealer is a product that we use to cover up our blemishes. Um, any flaws that we might have on our skin, any dark areas, we use the concealer to um, cover that up and to highlight that area and to give us a nice, fresh look. But the thing, the, the thing with the concealer and the confidence is that I believe a lot of times as women, and I know from my own personal experiences, that sometimes we'll use this same product, right, to cover internal blemishes, internal flaws, right? And this product cannot do that, okay? As much as I love makeup, as much as, as, much as I love a good concealer, right, this concealer cannot fix the issues that I might have going on internally. And that goes the same for you. So I want to make sure that we know what concealer's purpose is and that we use it the right way and that we understand the importance of maintaining confidence, okay? Because confidence is extremely important. It doesn't matter how much makeup you put on. If you're not confident in who you are, you cannot present that to the world effectively because I believe that beauty is twofold, okay? Um, beauty is you have inner beauty and you have outer beauty. Hey, Keisha, um, inner beauty is knowing who you are. Outer beauty is how you present that knowledge to the world, okay? So it's important that when we're talking concealer, we know that this product is awesome, it's amazing, but it's only going to cover whatever blemishes you have on, the, on a superficial blemish. It's not going to cover what's going on on the inside, okay? So let's talk about it. What is confidence? Confidence is having the ability to know who you are. Knowing who you are is being confident. Knowing who you are and being okay with who you are, that's confidence. Listen, I was not always confident in, in me being Shanae. I'm tall. I have, like I said, my lips are, are big, right? And that was an issue for me. But what I learned to do is that... You know, regardless of what, this is who I am. My height is who I am. My lips are what they are. I can't change them, right? So what, what do I have to do in order to maintain my confidence? I have to, number one, and this is for you, so catch this. Embrace your flaws, right? The same things that I hated about me are the things that I embrace today. Why? Because they make me who I am. They make me different. They make me unique. They make me Shanae, right? And I don't always like them. Hey, Jackie, they didn't, I didn't always like them, but now I embrace it. Why? Because I'm confident in who I am. Listen, people might not always accept me. They might not understand why she's so tall, why are her lips so full. But listen, I love my height, and I rock it to its fullest, right? And I love my lips, and I rock them to their fullest. Because you'll most times see me with a bold lip color. Why? Because I've learned to embrace who I am. And that's what confidence does for you. Confidence is the ability to know who you are and embrace that. And I'm not talking about being cocky, right, y'all? I'm not talking about thinking you're better than other people. I'm talking about knowing that who you are is good enough, okay? So, embrace your confidence. How do you do that? Be confident. How do you do that? Embrace who you are and know that it's okay. Be okay with who you are. I had to learn to be okay with my big lips. And what did I do? I learned how to um, put lipstick on. Yes, I learned how to rock them big lips. Why? Because they mine and I don't care. And people could be like, oh, she got big lips. Yep, sure do. And they beautiful. Why? Because they're mine and I don't care if you don't like it. My height. Oh my gosh, why are you so tall? Because God made me that way. And he thought so much of me that he wanted to put me all the way up there. He wanted me closer to him. Okay? So that's confidence, right? That's being confident in who God created us to be. The same thing that we hated, and the same thing I hated, is the same thing that I now love. Why? 
because I've learned to embrace it, okay? So that's going to be my, my confidence for you today. I want you guys to embrace who God has created you to be and be okay with it. Be okay with it. If it's something in your life that you don't like that you can change, change it. Don't complain. Change it. But if you can't change it, embrace it. I can't change my lips or my height, but I'm not going to let them keep me feeling like I'm no good or I'm less than or I'm not like other people or, you know, something's wrong with me because it's not. I'm just different and I love that. Okay? Let's talk about concealer. Like I said, this is my concealer that I absolutely love. So, Jackie, we talked about this. She said, I'm a shorty with thin lips. But you cute, though, Jackie, so it doesn't matter. You're cute. But listen, I talked to you about this um, the other day. Jackie and I work together, and she comes to my desk and asks me for beauty tips. And I'm like, Jackie, I charge for this. <laughs> But she still, she like, shut up. Tell me about how to do my makeup. She, Jackie is so funny. I love her though. But Jackie, this is what I was telling you about the concealer. Um, I'm going to tell you guys how to properly apply concealer, okay? What you're going to use this for is to cover up your dark spots, any blemishes that you might have. People use it to highlight certain areas. And those areas are really going to be underneath your eye. And the reason that you want to highlight under your eyes is because it gives you a youthful appearance. It makes you look a little younger. If you have any dark areas, it's something that you want to do to lighten that area. But people have not been doing it the right way. Why? Because we may not be educated on how to do it the right way. So I'm going to show you guys how to apply concealer so that it works to highlight your under eye area. All right. So what I do is I use a cream, a creamy concealer. If you're going to be using the concealer on your face, you need something that's going to be creamy. Don't get a watery concealer because it's too transparent and you're going to see right through it. It's too thin. It's not thick enough to really conceal your blemishes. So you want to get something that's a cream base. And if you guys can see how um, this is kind of creamy, it's not liquid. It's, it's pretty, it's creamy. Okay. What you want to do with it is you want to take some and you want to apply it right to the affected area. I know we see a lot of women that's making V's down their face and going all... Listen, if your dark spots don't go over there, don't do that. Because what you're going to do is, if you have a dark spot under your eye, and then you apply this concealer under there and then down, you're highlighting that entire area, and that's not needed. Your dark spots are still going to be darker than the rest of your face because you've applied the product on parts of your face that don't need to be highlighted, okay? Okay? This is a Mary Kay one, Keisha, um, that I got from my cousin. It's Mary Kay. I love it. It's very creamy. So you only want to apply it. Number one, you're going to put a small amount on the back of your hand. Make sure it's creamy. Don't get no watery concealer because it's not going to conceal anything, okay? It's too transparent. So you want to get a creamy one. Put a little bit of it on the back of your hand. Number two, apply it to the affected area only. So if the under your under eye area is dark, only put it there, right? And I'm going to put a little bit on because I got on a full face of makeup right now. Um, and I don't want to mess it up. But I want to show you guys what it looks like. So what I'll do, if I'm, if I'm covering my dark spots, I'm only putting it right on that area, right? I'm not going to apply this product all the way down my face because that, that's not, it's not necessary there, right? Remember, we want to enhance our natural beauty. We don't want to look like a whole new person. So we don't have to put all of that product all over, just on the area that's affected. And if you want to highlight your under eye, just put it right underneath your eye, okay? But if you notice, I put a little bit down there. Don't use a lot because you don't need a lot. Take your ring finger and then just blend that product right in into that area that's affected. What I do is I use a concealer that's very close to my skin tone because I'm not trying to look like a whole new person, right? I just want to make that area a little lighter and that's it. Use your ring finger and blend that product out, but you want to stay right underneath your eye. You don't need it everywhere, okay? And I don't know if you guys can tell, but you probably can, how this is a little bit lighter than this side now. But it doesn't require me to go all the way down here. I don't have to do all of that. I can apply it right to this area underneath my eye. Lightly. Remember, y'all, this area under your eye is the most sensitive skin on your face. Okay? It's the most sensitive skin on your face. So we got to take it. We got to be nice to it. Okay? And your ring finger is the lightest finger on your hand. So you'll just lightly... Blend that in right under your eye. The trick is not about the application. 
It's not only about the application. The trick is making sure you're using the right concealer. You want to get something that is creamy, okay? Creamy concealer. And then make sure that you blend it out very well. Just blend that in. Blend it in very well. Like I said, I already have makeup on, so, I mean, I don't have dark spots really anyway, but I already have makeup on, so. But, if you can see, blend that in really, really well. And that's it. If you see that deals with dark spots under your eye and you don't want to wear full face of makeup, you can get a nice concealer and apply it to that area and go. You won't even need a whole face of makeup. You don't have to wear a whole face of makeup. You can cover the blemishes on your face and go with a concealer. But you got to make sure that it's a creamy one. Like I said, don't get a watery one because it's not going to work. All right? So, what did I say? Number one, I said in order to... Uh, in order to boost your confidence, you gotta embrace who you are and be you gotta embrace who you are and be okay with it. Okay? Embrace who you are and be okay with it. And how to um apply concealer the right way. Number one, put a small amount on the back of your hand. And the reason why I put it on the back of my hand is because I can see how much it is and I can kind of um smooth it out a little bit before I apply it. If I take it straight from the jump from here, I might take too much. So when I put a little bit on the back of my hand, it lets me use only a smaller amount. Okay, that's my trick to only use a small amount of product. And then you want to apply it only on the affected area. If you're trying to highlight your under eye, only put it right underneath your eye. If you're trying to um, highlight a dark spot, only put it on your dark spot. You don't need it all down your face. Okay, and then number three, make sure that you blend it well. Your ring finger is the lightest finger on your hand, so you can apply it well with this finger. Blend it well, okay? And if you want to set it, you can use a powder to set it, a powder um, foundation to set it. You can use a setting spray, um, but make sure you set it also. That's going to be a, that's number four, tip number four. Make sure you set it so that it stays in place, okay? So... Thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate you. What I want you to do for me, please, once you watch this, let me know what you feel about it. Do you like the confidence concealer? Do you like the inspiration and the instruction? Let me know what you thought because I'm trying to gauge um, the best way to give you guys what's in my heart to make sure that not only do you know that you're beautiful and that God loves you and you're an amazing woman and you can do all things, um, I don't only want to inspire you, but I want to give you the tips and the tools so that you can, number one, be beautiful on the inside see think of yourself as being beautiful so then see yourself as being beautiful and then present yourself as beautiful to everyone else okay so that's the goal here so let me know how this video went for you if you guys liked it didn't like it give me your feedback i'm open to hearing it um and i appreciate you guys thank you keisha thank you jackie for watching thank you everybody that's going to catch the replay and i will talk to you guys later love it yes okay thank you jackie tell your daughter i said happy birthday too she's so cute she's so cute but um thank you guys i will chat with you guys later have a good the rest of your weekend bye do you guys have any comments for me keisha and jackie y'all got any comments questions if you have a question, let me know, because I don't want to just jump off. Oh, and if you haven't gotten your copy of Master the Match, make sure you get your copy, because listen, this book has, and if you guys got your copy, make sure you read it, Jackie. Read the book, girl. Read it. It got the information you need in here for the makeup, so make sure you guys are reading it. If you want to grab a copy, I will um, put the, the link to the video in the description of um, this video. Hey, Dawn, thanks for joining us. I'll put the description of it in the thing. Not today. I have my book. Okay, good, good, good. I'll put the description. I mean the description. I'll put the link to purchase the video, the book, in the description of the video. So make sure you guys grab your copy under $10. Um, and it's an awesome resource if you want to learn how to do your own makeup, if you want to learn how to purchase your own products. This book is going to tell you how to do it. So make sure you grab your copy today. If you have gotten it, and if you do have the book, make sure you read it so that you know how to do this stuff, okay? I'll chat with you guys later. Bye!